Because Arne is this incredible mosaic of heathland, of scrub, of woodland, it makes it one of the best places in the country to come and see all six of the British reptiles. The RSPB undertake monthly reptile surveys here. This year, for the first time, the survey has been expanded right across the reserve. This will help to assess the health of the reptile population on Arne. Rob Farrington is leading the study, and I'm joining him on the last day of data collection, before the end of the season. So this is much more conducive to kind of your classic adder habitat. Yep. That's why I'm using my stick to just lift, start the tins. Yep, there's, there's a grass there. snake. Wow, there we go. So not an adder, but but a young grass there's snake. A grass snake, look at that. Do you want to have a hold? Oh, can have it. Yes, please. So there we go. I don't know if you can see, there's that sort of creamy colour collar just behind the neck. That's one of the ways you can tell you've got a grass snake. A surprise is that Rob has found grass snakes in lots of different habitats, especially as they mostly hunt amphibians. Well, I think we can let this little fella back. Oh, off you go, beauty. But the biggest surprise result has come from the last two species of snake. You would expect to find adders across most of Arn, but they were missing from one key site, the heaths. Instead, Rob has found a lot of smooth snakes here. Oh. Oh, yeah, I've seen. That's a smooth, smooth snake, snake down there. Smooth snakes freeze when disturbed, trusting in their camouflage to make them almost invisible. Yeah. Oh, that is a beauty. These snakes don't have keeled scales like a grass snake or adder does. They really do feel super smooth and polished. So this is this is a male, and this is a very large male. This is pretty much as as long as a, as a smooth snake would get. Oh, um, I'm I, I'm so happy! It, it, the rarest snake in Britain, and it's a big specimen as well. Yeah. What's interesting is the head shape because normally they have like more bullet-shaped heads. That's well, right. So th this guy's. He's doing something that you more often see grass snakes do, which is he's flattening his head, um, probably to try and make, fool us into thinking he's got venom glands, ah, like an adder, which like of course he doesn't. Um, they're constrictors, smooth snakes, so they're completely harmless. So, yeah, because when you look at that now, it's looking really, really adder-like. So just okay. take all, try and take all his weight. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Time for your close-up. Perfect. So, so you'll take that photo back and check if this is an individual you've you've come across yes, before. Yes. Although I'm pretty confident it's not. Really? Um, because this is the first time I think we've recorded smooth snakes on this bank here, which is fantastic. So why does Rob think they don't find smooth snakes and adders together? It could be smooth snakes are reptile hunters. They could be eating all the young adders. Um, so they specialise on hunting snakes and lizards. Yes. None of the other reptiles do that. No. See, I find that really neat because you've got the grass snake, which is the biggest reptile. You've got the adder, which is Britain's only venomous. But it's actually the smooth snake that's running around terrorising yeah. a lot of them. So as well as the twist in the tail of the smooth snake's surprising dominance in the heathland, this year's biggest ever survey has shown that Arne's reptiles can and will thrive if the right mix of habitats are available.